Alrighty guys, so today I want to do something a little different. I'm making one of my little clip-in hair wraps. Right now I'm just twisting the hair because this is where the loop's going to be that I'm going to attach the clip to later. So yeah, you can see, just put a little rubber band on there. I do cover up the rubber band with a little bead, as you can see here. And I'm just going to be popping in and out on this voiceover because my daughter keeps running in the room. But, yeah, <laughs> that's life. This clip that I'm using is actually just a backdrop clip, but it works really well. I've used it for a long time and it does the job, so. You want to make sure that you're combing the hair as you go so that it doesn't get like crazy tangled. You'll see here in just a little bit when I pull the beads through it does get a little tangled, but it's pretty easy to just go ahead and run a comb through it. So this is my first section of yarn. I did go ahead and tie it at the top and now I'm just wrapping it around. Normally I don't have all my beads right next to me when I'm doing this. I just thought maybe aesthetically it would look cool to have them laying there and they ended up actually get in the way quite a lot so don't do that if you do this at home yeah just don't be me I will say that with a lot of the yarn and the beads that I'm using, I get them at like Joann's and Hobby Lobby. Sometimes I find stuff at Michael's. I did forget to put a latch hook on the list of materials that you would need. You can find these on Amazon pretty cheap and usually a lot of times in like beauty supply stores so just check your area before you order something off Amazon because usually you can get them for like a dollar or two at a beauty supply store. But you can see I'm just using that to help get that hair through the bead and all nice and smooth. Again, comb, comb, comb. Here you're about to see latch hooks break easy, like that just happened right there. It's not that big a deal, just put it back on, keep going about your day. Like I said, they're really cheap, so if it breaks it's not a huge deal, it just makes it a little bit more difficult because you have to constantly grab it and pull it back out. I do apologize that my camera kept going in and out of focus. I think that the little scarf I used underneath wasn't helping. It's just a lot of busy uh, prints going on. So yeah, obviously it goes back into focus, but when it does go out of focus, like it does right here, just give it a minute and it'll go back in. So I do apologize about that. I'll try to be better on the next one. <laughs> I'm actually really obsessed with this ribbon I found at Hobby Lobby. I think it's just so pretty and it gives such a fun, colorful vibe to the whole wrap. I just think it's so cool.
So this ribbon was actually a lot of fun. Whenever I end up tying it off and I put the bead on the bottom, the glitter goes absolutely everywhere. I still love it. I think it's so cool. Just be warned if you use, you know, any ribbons that have glitter on them, obviously they can transfer and like get on your clothes and stuff and in your hair, but I don't mind. I think it's super cool and I'm really excited that I put it on this wrap. Right here I'm just tying two different types of ribbon on the very bottom. I do double knot them. I'm sorry my hands are kind of not in frame very well, but I just think it gives such a fun boho look at the very ends and I love it so much. These are two of my absolute favorite ribbons and I got both of them from Hobby Lobby. I am trimming them right here just so that they're kind of even. And this is the fun part. So these little metal rings I get from Hobby Lobby, they're like $2 a pack. And I'm just sliding a clip in on it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and push that through the middle of that little loop that we made at the beginning. And all I do is just kind of bend it closed and rotate it so the little closed back in the middle. And there you have it. That is how I make a clip-in hair wrap, at least one of the different styles. I've made a bunch of them and I love them. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.